It's a box and ride. folks uh get ready to head to the laundromat and see what our two machines made today or i should say this week uh hopefully uh pretty good i mean last week seemed pretty decent um hopefully we can keep that momentum going um just to give you a little update so we had one machine in there uh they asked to put in another machine because that one machine was doing so well uh one of the owners jen she told me that people were waiting in line to play the machine and she's like well if you have another one can you bring another one in i said sure no problem we can definitely take care of that so i brought one in roughly on tuesday and then i got a call i want to say wednesday or thursday unfortunately the first machine the pusher stopped working the motor went out on it unfortunately so we had to swap that machine out uh did not get any uh video of that happening just because it was just me swapping the machines out uh, hopefully once this illness goes away we'll have more uh video blogging uh, so to speak to record switching out the machines and so forth uh, later this week um, I'm gonna probably show you a video on how to bypass a lock when uh, the person you bought the machines off of didn't give you the key to the back to get it access to change the motor out so I'll show you how we're gonna get past that and then uh, go from there so all right let's go inside and let's check out uh, what these machines made this week all right, folks, we made it inside. Let's go ahead and take a look how well the machine did. Here's our first one. You can see there's a lot of coins getting ready to fall over on the edge. Still got some prizes still in there to be won. Looks like it's just piling up right there, so we'll have to check that out. Let's go ahead and go over to machine number two. As you can see, the first thing at the top, the prize is gone. Somebody uh, won the grand prize. And here's how this one's looking. All right, and then let me flip this phone over. Okay, here we go. Let's see how the one with the prize box did today. Let's go ahead and open this up here. Oh, we got some quarters falling out here. Got my gloves on for safety with the illness going on. Has a nice weight to it. Let's swap this out here. There we go. Give me a moment here. All right, this is the first machine. We had a very nice, nice collection for a week worth of collection there. But, uh, I'm guessing it's over $200 right there, would be my guess. Guess, I should say. All right, so here's machine number two. Let's see what we have going on in here. Now, if you ever wonder why I put the towels in the bottom, it's to stop the noise from the coins dropping into the machine. It has a nice weight as well. Let me pour this into another bucket. All right, this is machine number two, which feels like quite a bit as well. Very nice on that. Now let's go get the coins weighed. All right, we have Ashley. She does not want to talk, but she'll wave. She is going to help me count the quarters today since I don't have that many hands to do the camera and get the quarters. So Ashley tears out the bucket. She puts it on here. So when we put it in here, it's going to calculate how much money we made. So we'll grab machine number one with the... Uh, Toilet paper. I'll let you do the honors here, Ashley. Cool. All right. A grand total on the first one here. It's two hundred twenty dollars and fifty cents. All right. And then pour that back one there until we keep track. All right, and Ashley's going to grab the other one, and I'm going to have this one done in slow motion. So let's see what machine number two made. 
Wow, this one's going for the prizes, $253. Dang. That is excellent. All right, so this is what it looks like before I get ready to restock it. Move some of those prizes around. Alright folks, we reset the machine. Now you noticed I did not skim off the top, which most people do. I do not do that. What stays on the table stays on the table. All I did is move the prizes around. And this machine is primed for winning. These quarters are just about to fall off. In fact, some were just falling off when I was putting some prizes in there. Folks, this is machine number two. It has been restocked. Now notice I don't put too many prizes in here because there's a grand prize on the top. Which this week's grand prize is a couple Funko Pops. And for those who don't know, it's sort of like a bus locker. You win this key, which is right over there taped on that roll of $10 quarters. Once that falls off the edge right over here, you keep the $10 quarters and you also get the prizes at the top, which is a pretty cool deal, I think. All right, folks, now just leaving uh, the laundry mat. And I tell you what, once again, the staff is pretty friendly. Shout out to Ashley. Thank you very much for uh, being so kind. Uh, with our new hours, I didn't realize they closed at 7 p.m. with this illness going on. And she was kind enough to stay a couple minutes over and, and uh, let me do my thing. I didn't even know they closed at 7. So, uh, if Carl, if you're watching this, give Ashley a raise. She well deserves it. Um, anyhow, so we actually did pretty well, as you saw earlier in the video. Uh, how much money we made so that is pretty awesome. So I'm very happy for that I'm sure Carl is very happy Because uh, he gets a percentage of that now the question is to you guys out there. What should be my our next invest investment? Should we uh, as Ashley said we should invest in a claw machine? Tell me what you think should we put a claw machine in there? Assuming that Carl and uh, Jen give permission for uh, such a machine to be in there um, or should we invest in another endeavor? Um, money is starting to pile up and for Uncle Sam and the IRS and whoever was trying to count my coins and say hey how much tax I owe uh, I hate to break it to you all the profit that we get we just reinvest we actually don't pocket any of that money we just keep it rolling into other investments uh, our long-term goal is to hopefully get into uh, rental properties but obviously we're a little ways off from that um, so unless my friend Brandon has a trick that he can show me and uh, shout out to investment joy out there um, great guy uh, real friendly um, if you haven't got a chance to check out his channel I highly recommend looking at him uh, he's uh, got quite a few rental properties and laundromats himself so anyhow I appreciate you folks watching unboxing life I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode we look forward to you to leave a comment what should be our next investment and what you think we should invest in and make sure you hit the like button down below and as Joseph said, would say, subscribe and hit that bell. And we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. It's a box and ride.